So I'm not really here to bring in-house situations with family, with blood, and take it and bring it to the internet for everyone in the world to see. You've done everything else. You've, like, I hate this narrative because that's how you've carried on with everything else, bro. Literally everything else. But it seems that that has been the direction that has been taken. So I got to defend my team, and defend myself, and let you guys know what's going on. I don't want to speak on a team. Carlos and Chauncey, those are my brothers. I thought Chris was my brother. Treated him as if he was my brother. Did everything I could to help him. Strategized every single day. Worked with him about YouTube. How can we grow? What can we do? Let's do this. Let's strategize game plan every day with my family. Um, and I'm here to say that me, Chauncey, and Carlos are rock solid. Those are my brothers, and those will be my brothers for life. And it seems that we just have lost a brother um, to the to the internet. We, we just lost one. Respond to some of the things that are being said about me. One of the things I'm seeing that this, um, that Chris is saying about me is saying that I don't pay Carlos and I don't do anything for Carlos. Let me take a moment to explain to you guys everything that I'm doing for my brother and my family and my. So you're not gonna acknowledge the faking video shit? That's like, you see how he jumped over that topic of faking videos? blood carlos all right carlos was living like on the streets of oak street Kissimmee, florida living on the park bench for five months straight by himself alone with no one there to help him with nobody there to care for him. nobody in the world was helping carlos carlos was living homeless with absolutely nothing why are you always shooting videos in your car right i saw potential and a purpose and a plan for Carlos. I saw that no, Carlos you, had entertainer that? skills and that he would be a very valuable YouTube member and a, you know, a very valuable member of entertainment if it was done the right way and he executed his plan. So I took Carlos on board from day one, living in the streets of homeless living right and i put him on this team i coached him he's still on this team he loves me i love him i did everything i could at back in those initial moments to help him get where he's at today right every time i saw carlos i would leave him with four or five hundred bucks um was a brand new creator at the time was giving carlos anywhere from sixteen hundred to two thousand dollars a month in the beginning stages of my content Point, is this gonna last? How long are we in this? You know, Savage Squad has 15 videos posted together, guys. I'm not ball is life that's been here for 20 years. You know what I'm saying? With efficient business angles running of every direction. I'm figuring it out on the go. But speaking for Carlos, I got Carlos his cameraman. I set up Carlos's YouTube channel. I set up Carlos's Instagram account. I ran unlimited promotion for Carlos to grow his brand, to grow his social media followings. Carlos gets every single dollar that he makes off of Instagram. He gets every single dollar that he makes off of YouTube. And he got, listen, it's insane and mind blowing that I'm putting personal information on the internet, but that's what it has to happen at this point, okay? The picture plan here was pay everybody in the short term. People are getting anywhere from two to three thousand dollars a month. On top of that, you get unlimited promotion, right? You get a brand that I'm gonna put every ounce of life I have into helping you build and helping you succeed and getting you up as a member of this team. How can we make you grow? But in the also, I'm gonna give you bread, right? So that was how I was helping these guys through promotion purposes, through brand building, and through income that they got up front, okay? A guy like Carlos, man, his whole social media presence was being powered and pushed through my team and my guys, and we will continue to do that. I hate to put it like this, guys, and break it to you, but Chris is an extremely greedy, power-struck man, okay? I was setting up a pay-per-view run against Devontae Frigga for my team to be a part of. I was going to pay each one of these guys major chunks of the pay-per-view, which I expected to make anywhere from $400,000 to $600,000 from. I was going to give these guys each significant chunks, minimum 10% for each one of them for this run, this right? And if you think about 10% of, of, of $400,000, how much is that? 
That's pretty meaningful money, right? And that was the low end of what they were going to receive. Chris 10% of 400K? That's not bad. 10%, that's a scam. $40,000 to hoop? I'm not, I'm not accepting what he's saying, but $40,000 to play some basketball is a pretty, like, you feel me? Chris was on my phone every day preaching about why Carlos shouldn't get money, about how Chauncey chose to take the straight up money so he shouldn't get um, money through business ventures. That's what I dealt with in my mind, was being told that- Oh, so you're flipping it. It was Chris. That they- Chris should get a bigger portion and a bigger percentage of all the pots, the merch pots, the um, the um, uh, pay-per-view pots. He wanted more than everybody else, and I told him that that simply was not okay. I did everything I can to help Chris. I pushed Chris to the best of my ability. Homie would push me and push me to promote him and post him, and I'm going to put you in the trunk if you don't post this, and I dealt with that shit for too long, y'all, and I finally told him, fuck. See, now that's Cap. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Nigga, what? Okay. If you go on scapegoat this shit, you, you see, he fucked up. Because now that's crazy, though. Because if the nigga's threatening my life, I'm not rocking with you. That's weird. Like, what? No, see, I, like... I be wanting to give niggas fair chance, but this shit don't even sound right. Niggas said post me or I'm going to put you in the trunk. Fuck you. I'm not posting your shit. Stop fucking texting me, man. Homie pressed me. Homie wanted the attention, wanted the clout, and, and I had enough of it, fellas. Okay, I want to so I wanna wait, speak wait, wait, on wait, video wait. staging. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Didn't he just say that he did everything in his power to promote and push the niggas contents right but the nigga was hitting you up to promote his shit and you were like i'm not promoting your shit i'm confused unlimited promo and the nigga tell you promo his shit and you won't promo his shit right so here's a here's the complete bulletproof truth behind the concept of faking videos every video we have on our page is a real video that we went out and that people put their lives on the line to create and make for your guys's entertainment right? people were, were getting significantly hurt in these videos what drake said a wise month a wise man once said nothing at all yeah there's no way you get out of this you should have just took it to the chest and kept doing what you was doing Cause now it looks worse. Cause you're bullshitting. You're bullshitting. Niggas have you on like, niggas have you on video, recording, admitting to faking videos, and paying actors. Those guys, people were getting hurt. People were pulling guns. People were fighting people. People were hurting people. People were. Doing anything you can think of when it comes to street basketball, man. It was getting very, very, very dangerous. Chris being the brother I thought he was, my family, we spoke daily about ways that we could lessen the impact that somebody could actually get truly severely hurt. We did speak on potentially staging videos and putting videos in place. And it did happen one time. It happened the one time in Tampa with 99 the boxer and the where he hits me in my head and I tackle him. That's the one video that was staged and that was fake. The rest of these videos are 100% legit, 100% authentic, and lives were put on the chopping block for your guys' entertainment. To lives? See, it's when you start over-exaggerating the situation that I call cap because whose lives were on the chopping block? Make Discuss daily should we transition from making real life violent someone's going to potentially die videos to how can we make this less dangerous and we did talk many times about how we could make that happen and it was executed one time so don't buy the hype that these videos are fake because the nigga has a video of you saying 
bro, that situation with that one guy, I paid those two guys. Which is crazy. He literally says on recording, you remember those two guys you got into it with? I paid them. They are not. They've had lots of, lots of, um, bloodshed and lots of potential disaster happen for these to be created. I want to speak on Chris saying that I've ever said the N word in no way, shape or form. Would I ever in my life say something <laughs> like that? I got respect for people of all forms. Y'all can believe and see what you want from the videos. You're great. You know when you get caught cheating and you say... I got respect for people of all forms. Y'all can believe and see what you want from the videos, the aggressive basketball. But I love people. I love everybody on this earth. I would never disrespect another man and call somebody a racial slur. I deal with that on a daily basis with being a white dude in a bas in a community of basketball where they where people DM me and tell me I don't belong. I deal with that. Oh nah. Oh brother. Oh brother. Oh, brother. Nah, son. This is insane. This is crazy. The flipping is crazy, bro. <laughs> I deal with that. They said white men can't jump. Bro, this shit's crazy, bro. I want to see what he says about him calling... I wonder if he's gonna dress like this and other niggas. I don't spread that energy. I don't spread that way of living. I don't condone that. I never would say something like that. And I put my mother's life behind. Nah, bro. <laughs> behind that. Chris is mad at me. Because he in the group chat told me if I didn't promote him, he would put me in a body bag. I told, I finally told him, shut the fuck up. Do something about it. He said he was going to come to my house. And I said if he came to my house, I got deep and detailed. And I don't think I should put it here because I get my account deleted. But I basically said we have the rights to protect our, my, ourselves if you come up in our house. He didn't like it. And he went to you guys. And I'm not going to go... You know what's crazy about all this? Is all this could be handled if he just... Like, listen, if I'm being accused of something and I know that's cap, I have receipts. I'd be like, boom, 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 boom. He said this. Look, I'd be like, look, you see the messages? Boom. Niggas always say shit with no proof, bro. Where's the evidence? Going to the personals on what the guys on my team are receiving, man. But I can tell you guys and promise you guys that me and Carlos are solid. His life has changed from living on the streets by himself to the position that he's in today. He is prospering. He is making money. And he is in a great spot. Homed, sheltered, eating, living, Nick buying what he wants, and coming up on YouTube. On and side. people clearly, nothing will ever change that shit. We're not going nowhere. All this fuck, bro. Come on, man. Today, it's not even just about the money, man. It's about the fact that I have done everything that I can to put these guys in successful positions to do well through the internet. I have figured this shit out a long time ago. I took every single one of them, including Chris. Chris probably had the most time and attention, man, out of everybody to keep it a buck. I did everything I could to help Chris, to push Chris, to brainstorm video topics, to help him succeed in real life through the power of the internet. And I woke up to it all flipped against me, man. It's a heartbreaking experience, but it's one that I will learn from and I'll bounce back strong. Why you sound like them white people when they get caught committing a crime? Hold on. Breaking experience, but it's one that I will learn from and I'll bounce back stronger and better than ever from. To the ones that still love me and love us, which I hope you still do and don't jump to buying conclusions. I fucking love you guys, Zane, man. And up, I'm going to continue to do nothing but bring the best Appreciate content I can months. for you guys. That's crazy.